Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeeps here, your old composer here at the Decomposer Lounge, peeling back and dissecting some of your favorite tracks. While I'm on this week of going back and reviewing some of my most uh, watched uh, bands and artists uh, from the channel, Radiohead, I'm going to be doing Reckoner, actually. I got this suggestion, actually came through my Patreon. Uh, so I wanted to thank you guys for hanging out this week. Friday, I have a double barrel double feature coming at you and I think you're going to be really pleased especially if you guys are fans of you'll know when you see it <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it'll blow you guys away anyhow I'm going to do a Reckoner from Radiohead right now I want to thank you guys for hanging out I want to thank you guys who have been buying me some coffee thank you so much for that I really do appreciate that I have people going over to Patreon I say now you know maybe you don't feel good about buying a cup of coffee maybe you want a little something more for your money so if you go to Patreon you can see all the stuff that I've done there, and then if you want to go in there for a month and hang out, and that also really makes a difference and helps me out too. Also, the link for, um, <coughs> excuse me, Reckoner from In Rainbows on uh, Radiohead. That link will be down below as well. All right, guys, let's do this. From Radiohead, Reckoner. All right. spaced out I totally forgot what I was doing here on the channel as a reaction I got really into this um, I'll, I'll be really short about this so we can get back into it because I want to keep the flow going what I loved is with the engineering how they actually resolved what was kind of a the oversend of the um, the reverbs and stuff you know the percussion that was on you know the left uh, right side of the cans which is more of the drums you had a you had sh uh, tambourine here and another percussion but they really rinsed it deep with the reverbs and stuff and that separation really created a great pocket for his voice. Now, obviously, I don't have any idea what the lyrics are. Maybe I should do a lyrical breakdown on this on Patreon. But um, I love the uh, notes that are being put, uh, played on the guitar. The voicing of that also leaves that really wide open. Um, a lot of it is on the upper tonal range. You know, I'm kind of reaching for a bass and stuff, and so I'm pretty sure I'm going to hear something coming in, you know, I don't know, maybe in a second. But I, I definitely want to just say that I, I was so stoked at the way the arrangement resolved itself and then they actually did an engineering move to kind of clean it up and dry it up. And then there was that chord change that you maybe saw me react like, oh, they threw a little something fun in there to make us kind of lift a bit. Uh, I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just going to get back to the track because I want to stay kind of in the rinse of this and maybe I'll reserve the rest of this uh, for after uh, we listen to this.
that was crazy super cool. I love, I mean, I'm not very familiar with Radiohead's discography, all the all the albums that are there, um, I you know I've only touched on the what five or six I may have done already, but so far the the approach on dynamics and compositions and arrangements are so unique. Uh, even myself as a composer, I've learned through you guys telling me the fact that they've used microtonal um, uh, instruments or parts in their arrangements and stuff like that. I mean, just because I'm a composer doesn't mean I know everything and have ventured into every point to the musical planet, you know, and, and I'm, I'm learned that way as a PhD. Um, you know, he's in his head voice, it seems like, the whole time. I mean, I know he seems to have a higher range and stuff like that, but he's really up in this kind of glassy part of his head voice. But it was funny, as soon as I said I'm kind of yearning for a little bit of bass, when I started the track back up, I did notice it was very soft and very subtle, but it actually kind of came out a little more during this uh, passage that we just heard. And something else that I'm not surprised at and I've learned to expect are the string arrangements because uh, I forgot the name of the composer in the band. Uh, they really, uh, he, he, he really uses the liberty of composition to really fill out the tracks and also bring this kind of drifty, ethereal vibe to it. You know, so let me just finish this track up and then I'll finish up the rest uh, of my yada yada at the end. You know, one of the things that I've noticed, um, that's so nice that fade, you can really hear the strings. Uh, you know, the one thing that I've noticed so far in my very short journey with Radiohead is um, once they get themselves into a base, uh, the basis of their uh, rhythmical arrangements, you know, the guitars, the chords that they have set a pattern, what I love about what they do uh, as a composer and an arranger is that they expand with these very unique layers and arrangements. So there might be two or three or four or five chords perhaps in the whole songs and maybe they'll play one sequence and then flip a sequence that kind of feels like a change and stuff like that. Or they might introduce one chord or, or another uh, one chord or another chord uh, in, an, in an area that we were not expecting a change. But what I love about what I, I, I've heard so far about Radiohead is their um, detail to arrangements. And I guess that, that goes uh, to show that that uh, I'm sorry I, I don't remember the names but the, the one string arranger and the main composer there um, they really pay homage to the art form of arranging and I, I know that most of you are just listeners not just you're pure listeners to me you know remember I used to use that term maybe I should start using it again but for musicians we kind of understand that but for you pure listeners out there you know, it's such a unique challenge to be an arranger because we here as arrangers, you can give us a series of chords and stuff and when someone says, well, can you write a string section to it? Or what do you think we should do for a bass line? And just based on the creativity in our mind and what we feel and stuff, without being guided, you could put five arrangers, five really world-class arrangers, ask them the same questions and then all come up with a completely different arrangement. Some might be somewhat close by virtue of following the chords, but what they decide to arrange, how they decide to arrange it uh, can make or break uh, or change the mood of a particular track. So um, by no stretch of the imagination, um, I've said this many times, simple is not easy. And I'm not saying this is simple by any means. I'm just saying it's just so well done with the arrangements. There isn't a ton of instruments going on back there. And, um, you know, and then of course uh, with uh, his his vocals and his harmonies, more of the harmonies I heard more on the front side of the song it felt like, um, were also very nice and rich, but 
you know, because of the tone of his voice, everything is up here, you know, in the tonal spectrum. And so the bottom is filled in, obviously, with the bass, blah, blah, blah. We all know that. Anyhow, uh, thank you very much for hanging out with me, uh, listening to Reckoner uh, Radiohead. This was nice and chill for a Thursday, you know. I'm digging this because tom uh, tomorrow, Friday, I'm going to ratchet it up like it's nobody's business, or at least compared to the journey we've been on on this week, you know, because the next week I'm drifting into the dark side. Well, not the dark side, the more heavier side. I don't know. You guys take care. Thank you so much. And once again, uh, if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, that's wonderful. It also helps what I do with the kids. There's always a link down below to show you what I do with the kids. Uh, link for the headset, link for this song, and link for the Patreon will be down below. I want to thank you guys for your support. Take care. Aloha. <laughs>